The subject of this chapter, the end game, is quite appropriate because Fireworks is a screen-based graphics application. You're going to be using Fireworks to create images and projects and ideas and things like that. They're going to show up elsewhere. They're going to show up in Dreamweaver. They could show up in After Effects in a video. They could show up in a Flash movie. They could even show up in an Edge presentation. And the bottom line is, when you are working with Fireworks, and especially in a screen-based medium that is delivered through the internet, small equals fast. And we're going to deal with the first half of that equation, small, in this lesson. And to get yourself started, open up forestfloor.jpg. And when it opens, you'll see the uh, image of a forest floor in northern Ontario. Now, small basically revolves around size right now. And that's going to be the subject of this this exercise, resizing images, because this images should never go out full size. They should go size as, in other words, into their final size. And there are a number of ways of doing it. I'm going to show you all of them, and I'm going to let you choose which one works best for you. So the first method is just to simply select the image, come over to the properties panel, and you can actually do it by the numbers here. So you've determined that the image needs to be 400 pixels wide, and you're not too sure about the height. You want to keep it uh, in proportion, but you know that the width has to be 400 pixels. So what you do is you click the Constrain Proportion button in the Property panel, select the 500, and change the number 500 to 400. Press the Enter or Return key, and the image shrinks. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Another way of doing it is to come to the Modify menu, Transform, and if you select Free Transform, you'll see all the handles appear. Now I'm going to deselect it. And because if I select the image and then choose the free transform tool, I can actually get the same thing. So the free transform basically is a menu item that gets you to the tool. I'm never a huge fan of doing that. Okay, back to uh, the transform menu. There are two ways of changing it. First way is scale. And that will, again, open up the free transform tool. So you really don't know if you really want to choose that. I don't. I'm going to go back to numeric transform, which is my preferred method because I love working by the numbers. Now, you get two choices here on the pop down scale or resize. Scale allows you to scale it by a percentage. So you may decide, okay, fine, I wanted to shrink this image to 40% original size. Click OK, and it shrinks. And you notice it shrinks right into the middle of the canvas. Okay, I'm going to undo that. The other choice in the transform menu is resize. And again, you can do it by the numbers. As you can see, you can choose the numbers here and change them. Again, I don't know if you want to come here, but it's available to you because what you can do here, you can also do in the properties panel. So if I change it to 400, the image will resize. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Now, another uh, thing that you've got to be aware of when you are resizing images in Fireworks is that there's going to be a lot of extra canvas. So let's uh, take the height this time. We'll change the height to 250 pixels. Press the return key, it shrinks. And you're going to get a lot of extra canvas here. And if you move this image into another application, all of this extra space moves with it and adds to the file size. Well, there's a really cool little tool right here, this little button, Fit Canvas. What it does is it actually takes the canvas and fits it to the dimensions of the image. So if I click that, I have now trimmed off all the excess space. I'm a happy camper, and the image is the precise size that it is supposed to be. So in this exercise, what I've done is I've shown you a number of ways of rescaling images or scaling images. Uh, the first way was to use the Properties panel, making sure that you've got the Constrain Proportions button clicked. And that way, whenever you make a change to either the width or the height numbers, the corresponding number will change in proportion. I also showed you how to use the transform menu, free transform and scale. I'm not a huge fan of those simply because they literally light up this tool. But if you really want to do it by the numbers, you can uh, choose numeric transform. I gave you two choices here, resize and scale. Resize does exactly what the properties panel does. Uh, scale gives you the opportunity to scale by a percentage and sort of keep an eye on the width and the height of the image at the same time. And I also showed you how to trim off any excess size of the stage or excess canvas size just by clicking the Fit Canvas button.